All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered, the point is to discover them. The laws of nature are written by the hand of God in the language of mathematics. You can't teach anybody anything, only make them realize the answers are already inside them. I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. In the sciences, the authority of thousands of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. Knowing thyself, that is the greatest wisdom. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with senses, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego their use. To understand the universe, you must understand the language in which it's written, the language of mathematics. To be humane, we must ever be ready to pronounce that wise, ingenious and modest statement I do not know. Two truths cannot contradict one another. The sun, with all those planets revolving around it and dependent on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes as if it had nothing else in the universe to do. Nonetheless, it moves. Measure what can be measured, and make measurable what cannot be measured. There are those who reason well but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. The Bible shows the way to go to heaven, not the way the heavens go. The greatest wisdom is to get to know oneself. Where the senses fail us, reason must step in. Mathematics is the language with which God has written the universe. You cannot teach a person something he does not already know, you can only bring what he does know to his awareness. You may force me to say what you wish, you may revile me for saying what I do, but it moves. Nothing occurs contrary to nature except the impossible, and that never occurs. Wine is sunlight, held together by water. It is a beautiful and delightful sight to behold the body of the moon. Who would dare assert that we know all there is to be known? God is known by nature in his works, and by doctrine in his revealed word. Science proceeds more by what it has learned to ignore than what it takes into account. In questions of science, the authority of a thousand is not worth the humble reasoning of a single individual. The book of nature is written in the language of mathematics. Mathematics is the key and door to the sciences. It is surely harmful to souls to make it a heresy to believe what is proved. By denying scientific principles, one may maintain any paradox. Nature is relentless and unchangeable, and it is indifferent as to whether its hidden reasons and actions are understandable to man or not. Measure what is measurable, and make measurable what is not so. Holy Scripture could never lie or err, 
its decrees are of absolute and inviolable truth. Being infinitely amazed, so do I give thanks to God, who has been pleased to make me the first observer of marvelous things, unrevealed to bygone ages. With regard to matters requiring thought, the less people know and understand about them, the more positively they attempt to argue concerning them. If you could see the earth illuminated when you were in a place as dark as night, it would look to you more splendid than the moon. See now the power of truth. I would beg the wise and learned fathers, of the church, to consider with all diligence the difference which exists between matters of mere opinion and matters of demonstration. The Milky Way is nothing else but a mass of innumerable stars planted together in clusters. Facts which at first seem improbable will, even on scant explanation, drop the cloak which has hidden them and stand forth in naked and simple beauty. But let us remember that we are dealing with infinities and indivisibles both of which transcend our finite understanding, the former on account of their magnitude, the latter because of their smallness. Nature is written in mathematical language. They who depend upon manifest observations will philosophize better than those who persist in opinions repugnant to the senses. See now the power of truth, the same experiment which at first glance seemed to show one thing, when more carefully examined, assures us of the contrary. I believe that the intention of Holy Writ was to persuade men of the truths necessary to salvation, such as neither science nor other means could render credible, but only the voice of the Holy Spirit.